Previously, in Breaking Point. You know what they say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. Now Butler comes out of the pit lane, Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go. And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. He did do well to recover, but you know, you'd never want to see two cars, if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other. It's rule number one, don't hit your teammate. Uh, hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sport Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as Hang on two seconds, Nat. Okay, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he didn't even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. That was the fastest lap of the race so far.
great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. We've got enough fuel for three more laps.
Sunday, the final lap of the race. Final lap. Less than one lap of fuel left now. The tank's pretty much empty. Who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport has struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammate. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Well, a good race out there again today, Adam. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect? It's Devon. He was out of order out there. Uh, he really needs to rein it in. He's not the only one driving. I'm sure the team will have a lot to say about it. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson Butler rivalry is well and truly back? <laughs> no, that's that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're we're so focused on making Connorsport a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Uh, it was a good result, for sure. Uh, but to be honest, Natalie, there's there's always room for improvement. Uh, I'll be I'll be studying all the all of the race footage and looking for new opportunities. The team will be doing the same with the car, I'm, I'm sure. So you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sports not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you? I hope so. I mean, today was good. Yeah, there was no issues with the car. It's, uh, it's always difficult when a driver brings everything they've got and the car lets them down at the last minute. But, you know, I've been told the team has, has got it all under control, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few races. That's great, thank you. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. <sighs> Devon, you had a problem with the team order today? Didn't happen. 
What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. A shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. About Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat it. Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. So, what about Callie Mayer? Was she on your radar at this point? Of course. Here's our race leader, Callie Mayer. She has been blisteringly fast around Zandvoort here today. I find lapping faster than everyone else really, really helps. This guy, more than anyone else, has been pretty useful to have around. That's fucked! <laughs>